boys and girls, it's Miss Rice, and it's time for the August book of the month. I bet you can guess what this book has to do with. <laughs> I've got my super cool solar eclipse glasses, and our book is called Eddie's Eclipse. You guessed it, it's about our solar eclipse that happens on August 21st. This is a fantastic picture book that's gonna tell us a little bit more about the eclipse. It includes some facts, but also a very cool story about a boy named Eddie, who's so excited for the eclipse. So let's learn a little bit about what's gonna happen here at Cumming Elementary on August 21st when we watch the total solar eclipse. Eddie's Eclipse, written by Becky Newsom and Pam Tucker, illustrated by Pam Tucker. One hot summer evening, there were so many stars above, it looked like millions of diamonds dancing in the night. The sliver of the crescent moon was the only other object to be seen. That evening, a baby boy was born. Under the brilliant sky, his parents named him Eddie, after world-famous astronomer Edwin Hubble. An astronomer is a special kind of scientist who studies the planets, stars, and space. In the early 1900s, Mr. Hubble helped discover that there were many galaxies beyond our own Milky Way galaxy. Edwin Hubble was so important in the science world that the Hubble Space Telescope was named after him. Eddie's parents loved science and wanted to honor this special man by naming their son after him too. As Eddie grew up, he became more and more fascinated by science. Many young boys loved sports or playing with cars and trains. Eddie loved playing with slime, insects, and microscopes instead. A natural curiosity inspired Eddie to wonder how things worked and why things happened. Once, he took apart his favorite bicycle and tried to build a robot with all the pieces. It didn't work out so well, but he had a lot of fun trying. Even when Eddie created messes and chaos, his mom and dad always encouraged his love for exploring and experimenting. Science was Eddie's passion, and the science center near his home was always his favorite place to visit. The energy wheel and the giant dinosaurs were among his favorite exhibits. It seemed like he had been there a million times, yet each time he explored the science center, Eddie learned something new. During his latest visit, Eddie learned about something very special that would be happening soon. The Science Center was preparing for the Great American Solar Eclipse on August 21st, 2017. When Eddie heard about this amazing news, he could hardly control his excitement. Like a true scientist, he wanted to learn all he could about this once-in-a-lifetime event. The library was his first stop on the way home. Eddie knew that if he was going to become a solar eclipse expert, he would have to begin his research right away. He spent hours at the library reading books, exploring databases, and searching through science magazines. By the time he was ready to leave, Eddie's head was so full of new knowledge he could hardly think. On his way home from the library, Eddie's excitement turned to dread. As soon as he walked through the door, his mom noticed that something wasn't right. What's wrong, Eddie? She asked. Why do you look so sad? Eddie explained that he would be in school on the day of the solar eclipse. He was devastated to think that he would miss the spectacular event. Eddie's mom reassured him that his school would celebrate this event and do something special for all of the students. After all, school was where kids go to learn, and the solar eclipse was going to be an incredible learning experience. The following week, Eddie woke up and was bouncing with excitement. Not only was a new school year about to begin, but the eclipse was only a few days away. Eddie was hopeful that his mom was right and his school would be doing something extraordinary to celebrate the eclipse. As Eddie walked into class for the first time, he met his new teacher, Mrs. Beaker. During that first day, he and his classmates spent what seemed like forever getting to know one another. They found their new seats and discussed the class rules. Mrs. Beaker told them all about the exciting things they would be learning this year. Eddie loved getting to know his new teacher and classmates, but something was missing. 
Eddie wondered if his mom had been wrong. Maybe his school wasn't going to do anything special for the upcoming solar eclipse. And then it finally happened. This was the moment Eddie had been waiting for. In just a few short days, a very special event will take place, Mrs. Beaker explained. She revealed how his school had spent months planning for the upcoming solar eclipse and told the students they would get the opportunity to witness something extraordinary. The class listened intently as Mrs. Beaker began her science lesson. She told them that the moon constantly orbits or travels around the earth. Sometimes their paths cross and the moon moves directly between the sun and the earth. When that happens, the moon blocks out some of the sun's rays and casts a shadow on the earth. The phenomenon is known as a solar eclipse. Mrs. Beaker explained that on August 21st, all of North America will be able to observe a partial solar eclipse. The sun, moon, and earth will be almost exactly aligned in space allowing the moon to block out part of the sun's light. During a partial eclipse, the sun looks like a bite has been taken out of it, Mrs. Beaker said. Eddie thought that seeing a partial solar eclipse sounded pretty amazing. Then Mrs. Beaker told the class something even more unbelievable. This eclipse was extra special for Eddie and his classmates because his school was located in an area known as the Path of Totality. Eddie and his friends would get to witness a total solar eclipse. For just a few moments, the sun, moon, and earth will be perfectly aligned, allowing the moon to block out all of the sun's rays. During that time, the sky will go dark. Sometimes stars will appear and the temperature outside might even drop. It's like nighttime in the middle of the day. Eddie learned that the path of totality for the upcoming eclipse will stretch from coast to coast, allowing kids from 14 different states to witness the breathtaking total solar eclipse. Mrs. Beaker told Eddie and his classmates that people would be coming to his town from all around the world to view the great American solar eclipse. Mrs. Beaker explained that a solar eclipse occurs somewhere on Earth about once every 18 months. However, you have to be in the right place at the right time to see one. During each eclipse, the path of totality is only visible to a small part of Earth and many times is located over the ocean when no one's around to see it. That means only a few lucky people get to witness each spectacular solar eclipse. According to Mrs. Beaker, a total solar eclipse hasn't been, been seen in Eddie's town since 1442. That was a long time ago, even before Christopher Columbus explored the Americas. Mrs. Beaker continued to tell her class that although they want to see the eclipse, it is very dangerous to look directly at the sun. Eddie began to worry until he learned that each student would get his or her own pair of solar eclipse glasses to wear on the big day. These glasses have special lenses that block out the sun's harmful rays and help protect their eyes. Eddie imagined looking like a superhero while wearing his awesome glasses. The night before the eclipse, Eddie tossed and turned and just could not fall asleep. He was so excited for everything that was about to happen. He watched the moon out the window, and he hoped for a clear day tomorrow. As Eddie finally drifted off to sleep, he had the biggest smile on his face. He knew that tomorrow was going to be a day he would remember for the rest of his life. Eclipse Day had finally arrived. Eddie brought his mom and dad to school with him so they could witness this amazing experience together. His parents would also help other students understand the day's events and help them remember how to stay safe during the eclipse. The entire school gathered outside to make sure no one missed this once-in-a-lifetime event. Music played and friends chatted with one another as anticipation filled the air. Everyone wore their special glasses while they eagerly waited for the eclipse to become visible. Eddie looked over at his school's countdown clock and saw that the eclipse was only moments away. He could hardly wait. Mr. Petrie, the school principal, made announcements to ensure that students kept their eyes safe. As the moon started passing in front of the sun, a partial eclipse was visible. 
During that time, the sun was still much too bright to look at directly. Mr. Petrie reminded the students that they needed to keep their glasses on to protect their eyes. Finally, it was time for the total solar eclipse. When the moon was completely in front of the sun, Mr. Petrie announced that everyone could take off their glasses. It was only dark for just over a minute, but it was one of the best minutes of Eddie's life. For a very short time, it got dark outside, just like Mrs. Beaker said it would. Sometimes Eddie gets scared of the dark, but this was different. It was science, and it was amazing. When the sky brightened again, Eddie and his friends cheered and celebrated being a part of such a special day. Seeing the sky go dark in the middle of the day made Eddie love science even more than he already did. On the way home from school that day, Eddie told his parents he would never forget the great American solar eclipse. He dreamed about becoming a famous scientist one day. Eddie couldn't wait for his next scientific adventure. Boys and girls, I hope you liked this book for August, Eddie's Eclipse. Now, there are a little bit of differences in what Eddie experienced and what we're going to experience here in coming Georgia. We are not in the total path where we would see the full total solar eclipse. So we will not take our glasses off at any time. We have to keep our safety glasses on the whole time that the eclipse is happening outside. Your teacher will also talk a little bit more with you about exact safety rules that will follow. And I know that Ms. Fister has been doing a great job in the discovery special as well. Boys and girls, you know that one of our school rules here is be safe. So we want you to be safe while we're watching the eclipse on Monday, August 21st. You've got several options for viewing the eclipse and your parents should have already filled out a permission slip for you. Some boys and girls might stay home on Monday and they might watch the eclipse with their family. Some boys and girls might be checked out of school. Remember, if you're gonna be checked out of school, you have to be checked out by one o'clock so that we are able to take care of all the other boys and girls that are here at school. Some boys and girls might choose to not go outside and stay inside and watch it on TV. NASA is gonna broadcast a live view of the total solar eclipse. So the boys and girls who are watching that broadcast will get to see the full total eclipse. And then the last option is to go outside with our solar eclipse glasses and to watch the eclipse happen outside. But like I said, we want everyone to be safe. So boys and girls, your parents should have indicated on the permission slip which of those four options they would like for you. Regardless of which one you choose or your parents have chosen for you, I know it's gonna be a wonderful day filled with science and curiosity and investigation. And so when we watch this eclipse, no matter which way we do it, remember that we will be safe and we will be scientists. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls.